I really love this place. Good vibes. Good Chalamet Complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it? Love. I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. with your Vovas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, he did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Suchinov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Hey, 
that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just Alex. praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. All right, then. seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, you. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead. Since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you... Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Say cheese! Attention, comrades! Serious enough! Tickets are now available for a new performance at the Maya Plisetskaya Theater! discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war.
Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, Look, everywhere except for China. Known as oh, yes. a Facility 3826 <laughs> isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. <laughs> Plus, robots can't fry anybody. It's against their programming to harm a human I being. Still remember yeah, I know that. Then we'll play hot and cold. The first I can't wait. Going to the stars is We will reach the dream. most distant star. And we are taking our first steps on this historic journey. With a thought device, comrades. Analyze touches is our facility. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. I already tried one. It doesn't work on me. No thanks. I'm all set. Slow down, son. Slow down. You fought in the war, comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Ah, whatever. I've got a question. Yes, comrade, how may I help? Well, what can you tell me about space? <laughs> That's quite a question. We could talk about it endlessly and still get nowhere. One thing is certain, though. The question, how should we live here on Earth, can only be answered out there. So? What do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? A philosophical question, but if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for 10 minutes and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. Being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. <laughs> Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course! Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule.
you have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Welcome, comrade. That's some interesting art you got there. You like it? They were made by robots for this festive occasion. I figured they were drawn by humans. Oh, wonderful. That means we have successfully imitated the output of a human art club. Thank you for the compliment. May I be of service? You're celebrating too? Naturally. We are part of Collective 2. For us robots, universal polymerization is our goal. Our duty, even our feat of labor. Would you like me to explain in more detail? No, no. Thanks anyway. I'm in a hurry. General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult tedious I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... So nice. Our elevator has arrived. Facility 3826. I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing 
all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master Quan. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? <laughs>